हेलो एवरीवन तो एज आई सेड टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोन टू एक्सप्लेन हाउ टू एक्चुअली मॉडल होल नंबर्स ओके सो वी हैव आवर नंबर सिस्टम वी हैव आवर नंबर सिस्टम and we call this as a place value system why are we calling it as a place value system because the value of a digit depends on its place in a number what do you mean by that for example we have 7 8 9 so we have this number if you can ask me what is the value of this particular 9 and what is the value of this particular 7 based on its position the value will usually change for example if i interchange these values see now 789 is nothing but 789 so i would say 700 plus 80 plus 9 gives me 789 okay if i interchange these numbers like if i say 9 8 7 now this has become the largest number okay now this value has gone to 900 and 80 and 7 together gives us 987 so by just changing the positions of the numbers we are going to decide its value that's why we are calling it as a place value system so our number system is nothing but a place value system okay so each and every value in a number has its own position or its own value based upon its position for example 8 has its own value 9 has its own value and 7 has its own value no matter how many numbers are there for example 8 9 6 2 1 imagine this is a number and no matter how many numbers are present in in a number but its value will only be defined by its position imagine this is in the first place i mean when i say in the first place this is in the largest position so it is having a huge value and it is in the ones place in the sense it is in the initial position so it will be having a least value when i say least so how to represent this number again nothing but you just have to keep all the zeros you just take this 8 down and just put all the zeros under these numbers and again take 9 down put all the zeros take 6 down put all the zeros 2 down 2 zeros 1 down Two zeros and three here. So together, summing up all these numbers, it can provide this output eight nine six two one three. So this is our output, and this has it has provided this particular output by summing up all the individual values. But how are we getting these values based on its position or place? depending upon its position or place we have got these individual values and summing up all these individual values has has given us this particular output that is this thing but how do we pronounce it how to pronounce it that i'll tell you in the later part of this video but for now you just have to look at how to represent any number 
how to represent any number we can represent numbers in multiple ways one of many ways is representing it using a base 10 block so using this base 10 blocks we can represent any numbers when i say base 10 blocks here we can represent this one using one block if you want to represent this 10 you can represent it using 10 blocks 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so this has given us the number 10 if you want to represent 100 then i would say that you can represent it by having uh, this thing so what do we want to do we have to divide it on a 10 rows basis 2 3 4 5, 6, and 7, eight, nine, Ten. Now, if you can also divide this thing vertically, also one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have represented this particular number in a ten by ten manner in terms of blocks. So these, this is my representation of numbers. When you have one single number. You can represent it in the form of a one single block. When you have 10, you can represent it in 10 blocks. When you have 100, you can represent it in terms of 10 by 10. That is nothing but 100 blocks. Okay, this is a way. Now I am going to give you some work that you may try it later and comment on what could be the number of blocks that it is needed. So the work is nothing but 138 how do you represent this 138 in a base 10 block manner like in the same manner which i have shown earlier how to represent this 138 but now instead of representing this in a base 10 blocks we can also represent it in terms of a tabular manner but how do we do that for that we have to draw some table like this And in this table, just name it, just give some heading as digit, this is the digit. And this is the place value. This is the number. this is the value and this is nothing but the final one that is total value okay so now we have to divide this based on the columns likewise you can divide these 
okay now finally we can solve this particular thing that is 138 so how to represent that you just take the number 1 and keep it here and what would be the place value of it it is in hundreds position because this particular thing this is in ones and this is in tens and this is in hundreds so i can definitely mention it as hundreds so i have mentioned it as hundreds now what is the number here that is one itself and what could be the value of it when i say hundred you have to mention the number that is hundred okay now what is the total value you need to multiply this hundred into this one that is one into hundred how much nothing but hundred right and pick up the second value that is three what is its place once and it is tens so you can mention tens here so what is the number here that is nothing but three it doesn't change and what is its value when i say tens you have to mention it in the form of numbers that is 10 and you have to multiply this three with this 10 then what happens three into 10 equal to 30 and what take up the another number that is eight this time just keep it 8 here. And what is its place? This is in 1's place. And what is the number? that This will never change. That is 8. Same as our digit here. And now, when I say 1's, you have to mention 1 here. Now, what could be our total value? Total value could be 8 multiplied by 1. So, 8 into 1 equal to 8. Now, just sum, sum up all these values. 100 plus 30 is equal to 130. 130 plus 8 is equal to total of 138. So, this is another way that you can represent your number. So, in the same way, I just want you to try out uh, some other problems as well. So, the next problem could be that you can try out in your leisure time. Could be this particular number that is try out 215. Just let me know how how have you done that and uh, like using what ways. I have explained two ways. One is base 10 block. Another one is tabular method. Using these two ways, there are many more ways, but these two ways are most important one that you can easily represent any of the numbers. Okay, but uh, like if you want to use this tabular way that you have to uh, look at one particular uh, table that is, uh, I, I can call it as place value chart because if you want to, if I have given this number that is 138 and you don't know where it, where does it stand? Like you, you don't know where does this eight number has, sta had, has stand actually in the sense I, just by seeing this, I can easily say 8 is in 1's place, 3 is in 100's place, 1 is in, I mean, 3 is in 10's place. Three is in tens place, one is in hundreds place. Just by seeing this, I can easily say this thing. But what if there is someone in new person and he doesn't know at all, like what is the place value system and uh, he doesn't he doesn't know at all. Then what could be the way or what could be the alternate way that you can represent a number? For that, you have to know this particular place value chart. What is this place value chart? By looking at this place value chart, anyone, whether they may be a fresher or there may be an experienced one, can easily represent a number using the two methods that I have explained earlier. But before that, you just have to 
master this place value chart. But what is mean by this place value chart? Place values are nothing but these are place values are separated. These are separated into groups. Groups of three called periods. We can also term place values as periods. These have been separated into three groups. Focus here. These have been separated into group of three, in the sense three groups. And we are calling it as a periods. But what are those three groups? Those three groups are nothing but ones, thousands, Millions, billions, trillions. I mean to say, this ones, thousands, millions, billions, trillions have been summarized into three groups. Those three groups are nothing but these are included in the place value chart. I'll be showing you how does a place value chart look like. Then you'll be getting this clarity. Uh, when I say place value chart, I'll be having a table here, just like this. Now I have this table. Okay. Okay, so this is my table and so I am just mentioning all the things. For example, I'm just mentioning here once. Now I'm going to mention another word that is thousands. Okay. Now in the next one, I'm going to mention this word that is millions. Now in the next one, I'm going to mention this as billions. Now the final one is the trillions. And now we are actually calling this particular thing as the place value chart. So this is a place value chart. And now, so this is what it is. But how are we going to use this thing? Just by seeing this thing, you would be confusing like the first one is mentioned is once. After that, you may be wondering, after once, that should be tens and hundreds. But why I have mentioned this word that is thousands and millions and billions and trillions, you'd be wondering. But I'll explain you this way so that you will be having a better clarity. Just focus on this thing. Okay. Now, this once has been classified 
into three groups. The first group is This is ones and the second group is tens and the third group is hundreds. Okay. So likewise, we can just divide all the individual groups into three groups that is periods just i have explained it before itself so these are all nothing but the periods so uh, first of all i'm just dividing all the individual groups into three groups then i'll be naming it Okay, so I have successfully divided all the things. So this particular group that is ones, this has been classified as ones, tens, hundreds. And this particular group that is thousands, this has been classified as thousands, ten thousands. and 100,000. Okay, so now this, this particular group that is millions, it has been classified into again three groups, that is millions, 10 millions and 100 millions. Now again, this particular group that is billions, it has been classified into three different groups that is billions, Ten billions and hundred billions. Now, again, the last group that is trillions, it has been classified into again three different groups that is trillions. Ten trillions. 100 trillions. Hundred trillion. So this is our place value chart. No matter whatever the number is, that will definitely fall into one of these categories. For example, uh, let's take a number. 63. If you want me to find out the value of this 63, then how can I do that? I will just choose this particular value of first place that is 3 and I will keep it here in the 1's position and I will take the next value that is 6 and I will keep it in the next position that is here 6. So I mean to say 6 is in 10's place and 3 is in 1's place. So the value could be 60 and 3. So comprises of 63. This is our value. And if I want to consider another number that is 407, I would choose 4, 7 and I will place it in the 1's position and I will choose 0 and I will place it in the 10's position.
and I will choose 4, I will keep it in the hundreds position. So now 4 is in hundreds place. So it could be 400 and 0 is in tens place in the sense it doesn't have any value. So I can mention it as maybe 0, 0 and 7 is in ones place. So this is my final number and uh, if you just sum it up 7 0 4 so 4 0 7 that is 407 is your complete value of the number that is 4 0 7 okay now if you can consider another number that is 2 1 8 i would choose 8 and i will keep it in the ones position and i will choose 1 and i will keep it in the tens position i will choose 2 and i'll keep it in the hundreds position now what happens, 2 is in the hundreds place, 1 is in the tens place, 8 is in the ones place. So 2 could be 200, 1 could be 10, 8 could be just 8. Now if you can sum it up, all these comprises, it gives you the output of 218, that is 218, 218. So this way you can, you can represent number using this beautiful place value chart you can just take a screenshot or you can just download it from the internet as well either way is fine and now i just want you to try out few more problems and i just want you to answer it down in the comment section that what could be the place value of the numbers the first problem what is the place value of the number 27, 493, 615. And the second one, what is the place value of 519, 711, 641, 3, 2, 8. The third one, what is the place value of 2, comma 1, comma 4, comma 7, comma 5. Sorry. Here, for the first question, for the, in the first question, I would like to find out, like, I want you to find out, find the place value of 2 comma 1 comma 4 comma 7 comma 5 i mean to say i just want you to find out what is the place value of 2 in this 27 and what is the place value of 1 in this 615 and what is the place value of this 4 in this 493 and what is the place value of this 7 in 27 and what is the place value of 5 in this 615 so i just want you to find out this thing and for the second question For the second question, I want you to find out, find the place value of 9, 
फोर टू सिक्स एंड सेवन सो वॉट इज द प्लेस वैल्यू ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर okay so what is the place value of this 9 in this 519 and what is the place value of this 4 in 641 what is the place value of 2 in 328 what is the place value of 6 in 641 what is the place value of 7 in 711 so you just have to find out and comment it down the place value of this corresponding problems in the comment section so that's all for this video and i'll be teaching you the further more advanced concepts in the coming videos but the purpose of recording this playlist is to start a math playlist right from the scratch when i say scratch i want you to know all the concepts of the number systems and uh, how to model each number system and how to represent them so that's the purpose why i have explained this particular concepts in this video in the later videos i'll be explaining you all the most advanced concepts so just save this playlist for this complete math series i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye